Have you had reactions from fans in public that are like, oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's something I've gotten used to over the last six, well, eight months now. Um, yeah, it, it's a lot, you know. And I say that with, with the most, um, you know, I say it with the most gratitude and, and um, appreciation and, and the most humility that it's been, it's been a wonderful thing to be received so well by the public for doing something so heinous on television. <laughs> right? You know, yeah. Indeed, for sure. How is Tobias going to get anything done if he ends up killing everybody that he works with? <laughs> he kill everybody. <laughs> he kill everybody. Um, I think Tobias well, is mad. He didn't kill cyanide. Cyanide. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody else did that. I think, he, I think Tobias is one of those, those characters who understands the limits that he has with you. You know, where he's going to go with you early on. I think whether the viewer knows it or not, I think when you see him interact with someone, he kind of knows what this is, outcome is going to be, how long he's going to deal with that person, and for what reason he's going to deal with that person. You were sort of saying, like, you, Tobias, can size up the people around him, and he knows who he's going to give time to and who's not worth his time. Yeah. So what is his, uh, what are his plans for uh, Khalil? For Khalil? Mm -hmm. Um... Well, you guys see more than me, you know, one through three, so you guys know where I'm going with this thing a little bit here. You kind of know the state that I'm in. Oh, you're grooming him, right? I'm, I'm trying to, you know, um, but it's kind of like, um, um, how can I say this without sounding um, just like a fucking asshole? Um, <laughs> He's uh, no Lala. Uh, no, well, he's not Lala. Of course, I was just telling him he's not Lala at all. He doesn't. If you know season one, you know he doesn't have the history. That Lala, Tobias and Lala had a long, long history, and 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 Lala has been working with Tobias a very long time. So, I mean, hence that's why he runs everything. He didn't run everything overnight. You know, he was the face of the whole thing. I was in the dark shadows underground. Wouldn't come outside up until recently. Lala was running everything. That's why him fucking up, bringing his cousin on. And Doing all that shit at the CRS Motel, he had to go through what he had to go through at the end of the day. Jordan is completely different. He's a mom's boy, school, good kid, boy scout. He's not from my world or from my life. Now, because of the void that's been placed upon my world, I, I need somebody. There's, there's love. I'm, I'm in need of love. There's no love there. There's no support there. There's no, um, uh, how do you say, there's not a, uh, a board to bounce ideas off of or anything like that. Um, so he's there, you know, of course to be groomed, but he's there for necessity whether he knows it or not. Um, and I don't think that from what you guys have seen one through three, I think he's having the best of times with that grooming process. That's <laughs> <laughs> so much. Does, does oh. To, oh, go ahead. Does Tobias have to get extra insurance on his windows with people just flying out of him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, everything with Tobias well is, um, he's a man of business first, and he um, he definitely covers his ass when it comes to things like that. So you don't see him throwing anybody out of a window or shooting anybody or killing anybody or just plain old just doing anything to anybody unless he has a way to to make sure it doesn't affect him adversely.